Archman. I'm coming to you from the 938 Live Studios. With me right now, my guest, he has got a couple of nicknames. He's been known as the Guru of Greatness, the Shaman of Sexy, but we know him today as John Morrison. John, welcome to Singapore. What's up, Singapore? It's great to be here. How's uh, your, your, your stay in Singapore been so far? So far, it's been uh, it's been short, but it's been great. Um, really impressed with the the skyline, the buildings, and the amount of trees <laughs> in Singapore. It's a lot different from New York or Tokyo in that regard. It's really cool. It's, it makes it uh, makes it seem a lot more green, a lot more clean and green. clean. Yeah. yeah, ooh, clean and green. Yeah, that's, 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 that's the, the catchphrase. Right? Yeah, clean and green. I like that. <laughs> um, you're presently injured at the moment. Can you s- sort of uh, are you injured? Uh, Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. yeah. I am. I am presently injured at the moment. Um, I uh, basically suffered like a minor ruptured disc in my neck and um, compressed vertebrae at the hands of R Truth, who doesn't like Singapore, by the way, and who is not clean or green. Um, but uh, I, uh, I had a, a surgery on my neck about seven weeks ago to uh, to repair the herniation and remove a bone spur to make room for the nerve going to control my right arm. And I'm hoping to be back in action in uh, August or September. And um, first on my list to do when I get back is to go after our truth and give him some payback. That's right. I mean, yeah, that's that's uh, that was one of my follow-up questions. Uh, but before that, you and the Miz at one time uh, tag team partners and champions as well. Uh, but since your split, have you missed the Miz? <laughs> have I missed the Miz? Absolutely not. Okay. You know, it's like uh, you lose twenty pounds. Yeah. Do you miss the 20 pounds you lost? No. No, you don't want it back. Is, is it like a bad marriage? <laughs> I wouldn't call it a marriage, but I would definitely call it bad. Okay. Um, yeah, the, the, <laughs> the bromance is over. Um, me, and, uh, me and Miz are, are done. I don't, I don't miss the guy. Um, I'm, I'm not surprised at his uh, success, though. Yeah. I think the, the one thing that you can definitely say about the Miz is he is not afraid to be himself, to be loud, to be annoying. He is emphatically himself, always. He's, uh, he's not acting, and I think that, uh, that over-the-top annoying factor really uh, identifies him as The Miz. And um, it's not like he says anything profound or has anything intelligent. Yeah. He just says a lot of stuff very loudly. So you're not at all surprised that in the last eight months he's gone on to even main event at WrestleMania um, and even become the champion as well? I, you know, I... I would say I'm not surprised because uh, he's a talented guy, you know, and um, he worked really hard. And um, so in that regard, I'm not like, oh, I can't believe it. He doesn't deserve it. He does deserve it. He, he worked yeah. hard. And um, you can you can tell by the the way that he carries himself that um, he believes his own hype, yeah. <laughs> which is uh, very important for a WWE superstar. Yeah. And um, so I'm, I'm not surprised. I am uh, actually kind of proud of him. In a strange way, not that I would want to ever say that to his face or hang out with him, <laughs> but uh, he he did good for himself. Now you have an arsenal of uh, technical moves, and in the last I think eight or nine months, you sort of uh, displayed a whole new array of acrobatic moves. I uh, I believe you're a, a strong supporter of a uh, parkour, and yeah. and uh, and the one that move that you 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 did in uh, the Royal Rumble where you actually jumped and then it was like a cat like grip like on, a cat against jump. yeah yeah, yeah. that that's one for the history books. Uh, what what sort of uh, got you the inspiration and the de- the desire to sort of uh, raise the ante, so to speak, uh, in terms of your arsenal? I think it's exactly right when you said parkour. Um, I've been been practicing parkour for the last three years now, mm. and uh, it's it's really cool. It's like it's just like anything else. The more you do it, the better you get at it. And I never thought that I would get to be really advanced at parkour, but is I keep training and I keep pushing myself. I keep thinking like I'll never be able to do that, and then I do it. I'll never be able to do that next thing. And then I can do the next thing. So um, just continually pushing the limit, continually trying to improve my arsenal and um, get better for the WWE Universe in, uh, is, is what has inspired the new arsenal of moves. And um, it's, it's largely thanks to parkour. Outstanding. You've won the ECW heavyweight title. When can we hope to see you as uh, the WWE champion? First chance I get. Um, I'm hoping that our truth wins the title because that way I can beat him up and win the WWE Championship all in the same match. Um, but uh, when, when I get back to full-time, my uh, sights are going to be set on our truth and then after that, the WWE Championship. Now, of course, the WWE Universe is rocked by the news from Monday Night, Tro- from, uh, Monday Night Raw uh, regarding CM Punk's announcement that he plans to leave on July the 17th. Do you think it's another one of his mind games, or is he truly tra- telling the truth that he's leaving the WWE for good in a month from now? 
Um, wow, with uh, with CM Punk, it's so hard to tell because he is the uh, <laughs> the master of the mind game, and um, he's always playing some kind of angle. And I would uh, I would wager that he might have been using that his leaving to get like some sort of championship match, and hope maybe we'll see how if that, if that and turns out. Yeah. yeah, and um, he uh, <laughs> see it works, you know, and um. If uh, if he wins the championship, I uh, I doubt that he leaves. Right. So um, it's uh, it's just it's really interesting to see um the moves that people make and how they how they work. And CM Punk is uh, always one that's uh, thought outside the lines, and I think it's paid off for him in this this time. You've uh, indicated that Randy Macho Man Savage was one of your favorite wrestlers of all time. How do you feel about uh, his recent uh, passing? Oh yeah! Give me one. Give me one. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! That's a good one, Raj. Right? You've been practicing that, right? Yeah. Everybody has a, ooh, yeah, macho man. Everyone's got a good macho man impression because the guy was so iconic. You know, um, man, in, when I was a kid, I I did that. Snap it to a Slim Jim. Everybody, you know, yeah. knows macho man. What a what a, what a a great entertainer. And um, I was uh, really upset to hear that he passed. Um, I never really got the chance to sit down and talk to him. And I know that him and I are featured in the, the WWE All-Stars game. Right, yeah. In the the fantasy uh, combat mode for the most charisma. And um, I cut all these promos on Macho Man about how I had more charisma than him and how, like, uh, how Bonesaw McGraw was a crappy career move and all this stuff. And um, I, I kind of wanted to, like, sit down and laugh with, like, laugh with him about it at some mm-hmm. point, and I never got the chance to, which is uh, really bummed me out. But, um, yeah, you know, it, it's too bad. Great performer, great memories. Everybody loved Macho Man, and it's uh, sad to see him go. John, uh Last question: If you had a dream match, any wrestler from any generation, who would it be and why? Any wrestler from any generation, um, man. I think, uh, you know, I think it would be Shawn Michaels because um, when I was when I was a little 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 kid, I liked uh, Warrior and Hogan, and then I kind of grew up a little bit and realized, yeah, those guys are cool, but. They're not as talented in the ring as Shawn Michaels. And Shawn Michaels became my inspiration and um, one of the main reasons that I got into the WWE. So, um, man, if, if I could have any one matchup, it would him. It would be Shawn Michaels coming out of retirement at next year's WrestleMania. Shawn Michaels versus John Morrison with uh, Jackie Chan as a special guest referee. Oh, st- <laughs> John, we wish you the very best in your WWE career, and we hope that you and the guys will come down to Singapore. I, the Singapore we, uh, fans we, miss we you, all, man. We all want to. We, um, we've all been talking about coming to Singapore. The only person that doesn't want to come here is The Miz because he doesn't like it here. I don't know, he's, but he's, he's weird. You know, yeah. Like I said before, I don't miss the guy. But I, I hope so, too. We, we love Singapore. Clean and green. Hopefully we can come back on the scene. Outstanding. And that was... The shaman of sexy John Morrison.